Chuck here, and we're back with Milton Daily Homes. We have 14 listings today. This is my third time doing the video because I can't seem to get it done in less than 10 minutes. So we got four agent listings and uh, actually four agents selling their own home. First one up is 661 Childs, number 32, 239.9. It's a four bedroom and an end unit here. I believe that's LaRose Bakery behind, but don't quote me on that. And you can see that this home uh, is a very look good looking home. Uh, old fashioned stuff, but I'll tell you, pride of ownership really matters. And, and I find that as I've gone through homes over the years, newer homes that feel cold and sort of not friendly don't even show as well as some of these homes that, that are a little bit more comfortable. You can tell that people have really taken good care of them. So there you go. There's the pictures there. Nice looking home. Condo fees are slightly uh, more expensive than what I'd expect. And also the other thing to point out is the uh, March 29th date of possession. Anytime you have a specific date there, it usually means that they bought another home or they have a next step in mind. Next up is 1180 Bernard 269.9. This is a three-story townhome in the Madame area. Uh, with the three-story homes, you do not have a basement. I know it mentions basement here. It just means that actually the garage and the main level, and then you've got the kitchen, the living, dining on the next, and then you've got the bedroom. So balcony, front yard, but no backyard on these ones. It looks like it's got a backsplash, some laminate floors, and some nice tile. It's priced exactly where it should be, and there's not a lot for sale, so they're going to do just fine. 572 Laurier, it looks like a semi, but it, they call it the link because the garages are attached. There's no interior walls that are attached. 35 by 120, Laurier is a, uh, is a busier street. Three bedroom, and it says zero washroom. I believe there's two washrooms. It's just the way the data transfers. And... Uh, windows, anytime you're on the, the plus side of 20 years, you're talking about windows, roof, furnace, most of the stuff usually needs to be replaced before then. So you're talking about a home in pretty good shape. Bathrooms have been done. 314.9, great price on Lori. This is a, I'd like to see the pictures on this one. The price is very enticing for me. Uh, it gets a little chuck pick of the day. 753 Edwards, this is our first bank sale on Milton Daily Homes and you've got the front room and you can see how the it opens up into the kitchen. There's a little pass through area there and then the backyard. 319, it's kind of a boring townhouse. Uh, bank sales aren't the deals that people think they are for the most part. Um, you go down to the states where there's a surplus, sure, but the banks are going to hold out for market value on these ones up here because the market is just good right now. So immediate possession, obviously it's vacant. So if you need to move in a hurry, this one might be an option for you. 106 Pant and Trail, 339.9, three bedroom, three washroom with a finished basement. Look at these pictures. Just beautiful. So you've got a, a, a this family room can sometimes be awkward because there's actually two different walkthroughs there. It's hard to put your couches and your TV when there's a lot of wall that's open up. Uh, California shutters, great looking kitchen. Uh, and then you've got the family room here. Downstairs is a finished basement done by the builder. So it's a good quality. It's a big open room. And you can see how the stairs come down. It's just one big open room there. Uh, master with the ensuite. Got a little office downstairs. Great looking home. Great price. Up in Main Street Village. Two thumbs up. Chuck pick. Little chuck pick. I'm not going to give my final one till later. 727 Colson 399.9. These homes have a lot of space. From the front, double garage, you see entrance, but there's a lot of space in here. You got living, you got bedrooms, you got all kinds of levels here. These ones you can configure them for actually do like setting up two or three families to rent in. It's really kind of neat how you can do that. Uh, five bedroom, two washroom. So this might be a good home for an investor if it's in good shape. It might be a good home for a big family with those five bedrooms. I'd have to see the pictures inside to say whether or not it's a good price, but it looks pretty good. 577 Caver Hill. This is a Wyndham Corner model. Very nice. Lots of windows. Great little layout. Uh, big bedrooms. There's the front living room. Hardwood floors. There's the dining. And then you got the kitchen. And there's another shot there. Opens up to the family room right here. And then upstairs you've got good sized bedrooms. You get the ensuite with the soaker tub. It's an unfinished basement. At 4049, this one looks really, really nice. There's second floor laundry upstairs too. 239 Scott Boulevard, 424.9. Uh, you've got the backsplash, of course, the green apples, the staple of any staging project. This opens up to the uh, to the table there, and then you've got the walk out to the yard. 
All right, and you can see there's a front room that you see before you get into the kitchen and then the family room at the back of the home. Okay, nice bay window. Uh, you know, decent looking home. This is an agent selling this home as well. Uh, possession is negotiable, NEG. And I don't really, Scott can be a busier street. It's okay. It's not blowing me away. 429 at uh, Euro Way, four bedroom, three washroom. And it's funny, the agent says, well, main floor den. But that, the reason why, if you look at the room sizes, is it's only uh, you know a seven foot wide room. So you've got a living dining on the ground. You've got kitchen breakfast and then the den. So they moved the family upstairs because they couldn't fit it on the main level because you've got a big double garage and a little lot. And you've got four bedrooms upstairs. So upstairs is going to be nice and big. Uh, you've got laundry up there. It's just the main floor. It's going to be a little bit tight. It's going to be very L-shaped. 832 Rainer Court, Quincy Corner. We talk about these a lot. Pot lights, kitchen, uh, California shutters. All the pieces are here. Hardwood stairs, iron pickets. Very, very nice looking home. Uh, tastefully done. Um, really, really nice. 444, right in line with where they should be. This is on the good side of Rainer. We talked about one yesterday that was actually right beside Derry. That was on Monday, pardon me. This is the four-bedroom version. They're looking for June 30th. They've actually quoted the date again. Uh, nice looking home. 311 Leech Landing, 449.9. Merry Christmas. Here's your home. Living, dining. You got a nice kitchen here. Um, you know, one of the things with this home is how much is are the appliances, the window coverings, and the fencing going to cost you? Those are the three expenses that you can buy in other homes that you're probably not even going to get money back on this one for putting in. So comparing apples to apples, I think it's okay. You know, it's definitely not blowing me away. 1043 Laidlaw. Now this is the chuck pick of the day. 519.9. Look at that, beautiful double, or uh, living dining, nice vaulted ceilings, the kitchen, wow, fantastic looking kitchen, island, all the pieces there, stainless steel, this is, the kitchen opens up to the family room, lots of windows here, uh, another shot there, you've got bedrooms, beautiful, really, really nice looking home, nice street on Laidlaw, four bedroom, three washroom, I like it, they're taking offers on Sunday night at 7.30. And next one up is Hume Way, 649. There's the living dining. You can see how it opens up the stairs. Actually, the stairs are reflected. That's a, that looks like a mirrored closet. And then it opens up to the kitchen. Looks fantastic. California shutters. And the kitchen opens up to the family room. 2,400 square feet. Crown moldings. Looks like they've built in some desk space there. Uh, nice upgrades. You know, en suite's huge. You can see a glass shower right there. I still think that they missed the price boat. I think they're a little bit high on price. Hume is a fantastic street, but I just think they're too high on the price. Uh, 337 Oak Street, 899. This is a real unique one. Uh, you got a pool there. This home is, is from the 1850s. They've done extensive renovations. Uh, I talk about all the time about how hard it is to sell mature homes. Um, but look at this. They've done a lot of modern finishes. Tasteful, very sort of earthy. Double oven, wine rack, sub-zero fridge. That's how you sell the homes in the old areas is you make them really, really good. So this home, I mean, you'd have to see it in person. It's a three-bedroom, and it says it's between 2,000 2,500 square feet. I think it would be really unique. I think it would be something that uh, someone could be really proud of. So $899, really need to see it to make a, a call on this one. But I like what I'm seeing so far. So that's our list for today. And join us for a daily tour of homes. We do, I think there's 17 slots a week. Just sign up on the right-hand side, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.